What's going on guys, it's Hi, and I recently purchased and installed the WeatherTech window deflectors for my 2020 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. If you're unfamiliar with this type of product, they go by many names, window deflectors, rain guards, vent visors, it really just depends on what the manufacturer wants to call them, but at the end of the day, it's all the same product. There's generally two types of window deflectors, out channel and in channel. The out channel almost always uses an adhesive tape to stick on the outer edges of your window. The in channels, on the other hand, install on the inner channels of your window. This is also typically done by using an adhesive tape, but it really just depends on the manufacturer's design. Now, if you're wondering what the purpose of a window deflector is, well, at the end of the day, it essentially provides a canopy for your window. Imagine it's a rainy day and the inside of your car windows are fogging up, or you just want to get some fresh air. Well, if you crack your window open, rain is likely going to come splashing in. Using the window deflectors, you are able to crack your window just a little bit so that you can get that fresh air in while still being protected from the elements. On the opposite end of the spectrum and on a hot summer day, you may want to crack your window to let some air in to cool the car off, but you don't want to chance someone walking by and messing with your car. Well, again, the window deflectors allow you to crack your window just a little bit enough to let the air in without making it super obvious that your windows are cracked. And the deflectors themselves also make it harder if anyone were to come up and try to stick their hand in the crack of your window. Aside from these functional benefits, the window deflectors also serve as a way to accessorize your vehicle. I personally love the look of them and add them to all of my personal vehicles. Now, many companies make window deflectors, and in this case, we are looking at the WeatherTechs. But to be honest, this is actually the first time that I've ever purchased window deflectors from WeatherTech. I've always avoided them because WeatherTech typically charges a lot for whatever product they sell. And in the case of window deflectors, these are the most expensive that I've seen on the market. The official website has them listed at $99.95, but realistically, you have to pay for taxes and shipping. So for me, it comes out to $126.34. At this price, it could be three, four, if not more times more expensive than some of its competition. The most notable other brand in the market for this type of product is going to be Auto Vent Shade AVS. And I personally am a fan of AVS. I've had them on all of my other vehicles, and to be honest, I wanted them on this Tacoma. So why not just buy the AVS vent visors? Well, I actually did. I bought them five times and even tried to make a video dedicated to them, but every time I purchased them, something was always wrong. With all of these window deflectors, they are essentially made out of plastic, and although they are durable and resist cracking and breaking, they are prone to scratching. With AVS packaging, they decided to stack all of the vent visors on top of each other and then shrink wrap everything together. It also doesn't help that they leave their edges a little bit sharp. so. All of this is just a recipe for scratches and damages. Of the five sets that I purchased, all of them were damaged. The first set that I ordered had some pretty obvious scratches, as well as the second set. By the third time around, I told myself, no matter how much damage it arrives with, I'm going to install them. So, it arrived, damaged, and I still went ahead and attempted to install them. Well, that didn't work out too well because one of the deflectors had faulty adhesive tape. It just wouldn't stick, so I couldn't install them. So, back that set went. The fourth set arrived and it was worse than any of the other. I didn't even have to remove the packaging. I could see deep, deep gouges in them. So again, they went back. Finally, the fifth set. It arrived in pretty much the same condition as the fourth set with a lot of deep, noticeable gouges. But this time, under the packaging, there was actually small, tiny rocks just laying around everywhere. By this time, I was done with the AVS vent visors and ordered the WeatherTech window deflectors. Now this isn't just me, I'll leave a link to the Amazon listing for the AVS vent visors down below and you check out the reviews for yourself. There are so many bad reviews because people just keep receiving damaged vent visors. The good ones do seem to be out there, but they are definitely not the norm. But hey, if you don't mind getting a damaged product, the AVS vent visors can be purchased for a great price. Sometimes you can pick them up on sale and it'll be around $30. I just couldn't deal with all of the damages so I ordered the WeatherTechs. Again, I've never had WeatherTech window deflectors before, so I was a little bit worried about how they would fare. First of all, they don't install with adhesive tape. They are essentially held in place by the force of the deflectors themselves up front. Then in the back, they are held in place with some clips. There are installed videos on YouTube, so you can go ahead and check them out for yourself to understand what I'm talking about. Prior to buying the WeatherTech, there were a few things that I was wondering about, and I wanted to go over those things in case somebody is watching this video and is wondering the same thing. First, I was wondering about the overall size of the window deflectors. From some of the images that I've seen of the weather checks, it seemed like they protruded from the window quite a bit. 
With the AVS, you had two choices in vent visors, either the standard or the low profile. The standard bubbles out a little bit from the window and is a bit more noticeable. While on the other hand, the low profiles are essentially flush with the windows, which gives them a little bit of a cleaner design and make them look like they belong on the truck from the factory. From pictures, it seemed like the WeatherTechs bubbled out more than the standard AVS, but to my surprise, they are actually pretty low profile. In the front, it bubbles out just a little bit because of the design that they went with in order to install without adhesives. But on the back, it is super low profile. It is almost flushed. Up front, there's about one and a half fingers worth of space between the deflectors and the window glass. In the back, it's pretty much just one finger. The overall design is very low profile, and from my experience with the standard AVS vent visors for this truck, I would say that it is more low profile than those in the front and for sure in the back. In terms of design and the way that they look, the weather checks are very different from the AVS, at least up front. The weather checks don't just run along the top edge of your window, but they actually extend all the way down the front edge. With this, I was worried that there would be a visibility issue. I was worried that the front edges of the front window deflectors would protrude out and cover up portions of the side mirrors. Again, I am happy to say that this is not the case. On the driver's side, there is no obstruction, and with how my seat is positioned, the deflector only covers about one centimeter of the top leftmost of the passenger side mirror. This is something that realistically would not cause any visibility issue at all. Another thing that I was worried about with these window deflectors is if they would increase wind noise. When driving, wind could get caught up under those window deflectors and just cause some noise, but again, I found that there was no such issue. Right after install, I had to drive about 30 miles on the freeway and I noticed no difference in wind noise at all, so that's great. Finally, I was worried that the WeatherTech window deflectors would hinder my window's ability to roll up. With the AVS vent visors that I tried to install, I noticed that when rolling the window up, it would often catch on the bottom edge of the vent visor and struggle a little bit as it comes up. This is something that many other Amazon reviewers mentioned, but some of them say that the problem goes away. I just didn't have them long enough to figure out for myself. However, with the weather checks, because they extend all the way down up front and actually sit outside of your windowsill, the window is essentially able to roll up and down freely without any problems. At the end of the day, and in my opinion, I believe that the WeatherTech window deflectors are a better product than the AVS vent visors. But is it worth the $130 price tag? That's really hard to say, and really only you can determine. Even I myself am leaning towards, no, it's not worth $130. If you're looking for something cheap and functional, definitely, definitely try the AVS first. You may very well get a damaged product, but hey, it works and it's cheap. I just didn't want to pay new prices for damaged goods, so the AVS vent visors were just not an option for me, and of course, I went with a more trusted brand, and the most expensive option, I of course went with the weather checks, and I would have to say that I'm happy with them. I hope you've enjoyed this video, hopefully you've learned something new, and if you are trying to decide between the weather checks and the AVS, hopefully I've helped you make a decision. If you got some value from this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it around, comment down below with any thoughts or questions you may have, and of course subscribe to this channel for more content. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.